God, who is the head of my life. Okay, let's do this. It was 1983 when I graduated high school, Central High School. I had started college. I was at Wayne State, first semester. I was going to medical school, y'all. But God saw me to do something differently. So here I stand before you, non-traditional student, seven years to get here. Three failed marriages, five children later, and since I've been a student, I have three grandchildren and one grandchild on the way. <laughs> and, oh, whoo. I always told Ellen, I said, you know, I should have took stock in Kleenex because I'm telling you, between Chris and Ellen, I spent many, many, many days in their office because I just didn't, first of all, I didn't believe I was in college um, and didn't believe that I had accomplished some of the things that you all know that I've accomplished. And it's like, whoa. Um, but this moment, me standing here, would not have happened if it wasn't for Darielle Smith. Um, I'm calling you out. Um, because it was my son here, him and his twin brother, um, we were in a, I was working in an elementary school that was slated to close in 2010. It was the closing year. And Ms. Smith, I was, I was a volunteer parent doing my thing, and Ms. Smith just kept at me every day. You need to go to college, girl. You got it. You need to do this. You'll go get it, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, okay, right. I'm a mom. I'm going through a divorce. I can't even think straight. I'm just trying to, you know, get my kids through school and pay my bills. Y'all know how that go. But um, she did it. She was like, you're going to do this. I got this. I need you to do this. And she really, by force of hand, literally made me make, she asked me, did you call? Did you call? Oh, Miss Smith, I'm going to call. I promise you. She said, oh, yeah, you calling. Whew, let's go. I was like, oh, man, what had I do now? But she made, she made the call, and we made it happen. And Ellen, Salima said it perfectly. Man, I don't know where you do, how you do, and get it done, but you get it done, girlfriend. And so to all the sources in Roma, that was my first job. When I first, I was out of a job, no job. And I sat and did an interview. It wasn't even an interview. We sitting around the table eating lunch and stuff. And next thing you know, I worked, for, I worked um, on campus for six years. And just recently, um, she retired. And so I had to, <laughs> I had to leave too, because I wasn't staying there without her. So I'm actually, by the grace of God, I am working in my field. I'm, I'm a full-time photographer for a major corporation, which is great. Um, I run my own uh, internet music show, so I'm actually working in my field, and, I, and that's an honor and such a blessing. And the fact that Dr. Pollard was one of my assigned, random assigned mentors, I didn't even know Miss Smith and Dr. Pollard, and I invited them both. Didn't even know they knew each other, so that's how good God is. So that's when you know you've gone full circle. So I have expired my two minutes, um, but Dr. B oh, you. Let me tell you, I didn't come through on the move, but I saw you a couple of years after I was already a student. You are on fire, and I know why your daughter, and you ain't had no choice, girl. Um, but to the students now, this is your first year. I remember when I took my first year, and I proudly post mine on Facebook, and it came up in my memory today, so that was so nice. Um, hang in there, invest in some Kleenex, not the off-brand, you want the real stuff. <laughs> The real deal, buy it by the caseloads. But um, stick in there, hang in there, and um, you got this. <laughs>